Morgan? I, I think this is a clear vindication of President Trump's policies. I mean, it's combined, the tax cuts combining with the regulatory reform is, is delivered what he promised to the American people. What do Democrats do with this? I, I think if they're smart, they embrace it. You know, what he said today, it's sustainable. That's what people want to hear. I, I want to get more to what you talked about now, Daniel, if we can. So you were high up in the CIA. What needs to be happening right now? The U.S. is going to keep sanctions in place, and that's what Vladimir Putin desperately wants out of. He also said that we are that we are not going to, to recognize or to condone what the Russians have done in Crimea, what they're doing in, in Ukraine. So from a policy perspective, forget all the noise, forget who's going going to their grandma's house for dinner, to the White House, or wherever they're going. And let's look at what this administration is doing from a policy perspective. Staying tough on Russia on sanctions and on Crimea and Ukraine is two of the most important things that this administration are doing. Uh, Daniel, he was, he was able to sort of, I think, strike a chord with the Russian people, you know, thinking about back in the day when, you know, the USSR, the Soviet Union was so great. That speaks to the fundamental thing that is so beautiful about America. Look what the North Koreans, look what Kim Jong-un does to his people. People, starves, tortures them in the back as they try to people. leave. He has no, he does not carry, has no quality of life. He has no value of life for his citizens. But the way we treat our people whenever we lose them overseas. You know, uh, Jessica, as we look at this, there has been pressure politically on the president. Morgan, as you were talking there, because it really is something that defines us as Americans. And so. You spent a lot of time in the Middle East. You and I both have. We've been in and out of the sandbox, as we like to say, in Iraq. Um, I know I spent a lot of time uh, pressuring Iran, pushing sanctions in the Middle East. What are our real options, though, here? Are we looking at potentially, Dan, another war in the Middle East? No, I don't. And I think you could look to Secretary Pompeo's very eloquent speech at the Reagan Library, where he really outlined our policy. First, he called out Iran for the kleptocracy that it is. He emphasized that we're out to win the war of ideas. We've got foreign broadcasting now in Farsi that we're going to direct into Iran. But remember, they are going to counter that with asymmetric warfare of their own. Uh, the world's largest state sponsor of terror. Jessica, there's nothing more in this administration, in the Trump administration. We have not heard your stance on the uh, standing for the anthem controversy. What say you? What I would say is this. The players certainly have a right to do it. They can exercise their, their right of free speech. To, who, mm -hmm. whom you want to address on these issues and think about is that the best way to do it. It's I say that as a, as a fan.